Hey golfers, Jess coming to you from the Jess Frank Golf Academy YouTube channel. Today I'm here to help you fix your slice. And this is something that I learned a lot from, from uh, spending time with Stack and Tilt and Andy Plummer. And, and what I call this is that the reverse loop. And the reverse loop is what I'm doing right now. So you can see how my hands are working back around, okay? So this is in front of me right here. So most people do it the other way. When they slice, they do the reverse loop they do it this way. They come over the top. So they're coming over the top, over the top. So notice how when I do it, I go the opposite way. This is the reverse loop, the reverse loop. So if I stand sideways, the reverse loop, look at where the club goes. Reverse loop, reverse loop, reverse loop. So I always tell people, there's no slicing at Bushwood and I never slice. There's no gambling at Bushwood and I never slice. So this is what I call, call the anti anti-slice move. This is the reverse loop right behind me. If you do this, you will not slice. Now, let me show you down the line. This is most people. Most people come over. They come over this way. That's the slice. Over the top to the left. Their path goes over the top and to the left. So we want to go the opposite way. So if you struggle, start right up in front of you this way. So if I just hold it up here, do the same thing. This is down the line. You can see where this club falls in, right on my right forearm. And now from here, I can really rotate. And you can see where this club is now coming from. Most people are not that way. When they come on the downswing, they're steep. They're steep, and they're steep, and they're steep. So they're doing the loop the other way, this way. So this is the reverse loop. This is the no slicing. And you can see I'm going to do it super slow motion. So it goes this way goes this way super slow motion so I go forward and then backward forward and then backward and you can see now if I add a little turn to it and I keep that reverse loop that club is never even coming close to swinging over the top and you can see it has that definitely into out swing and and this this is the part that people mistake a lot too is that what happens is that they're told to swing right you know, out to right field, out to right, but they, they don't do it from the proper angle. They start doing the out to right field. They just start throwing the club out to right field. And then what happens, there's shanks and tops and misses and overhooks. But this motion, this motion here, now look at where the club is. The club is on a perfect angle right here, right on plane, perfect angle. If I rotate back around, you can see where this club is coming now from the downswing. I'll do it face on. Again, reverse the loop here. Now look at where this club is coming from. My weight's forward, I'm tilted, my arms are straight. So I'm never ever trying to just swing out to right field. So I'm gonna do a little bit of a reverse the loop. Um, see if I have a, I guess I don't have a tee, that's okay. I'll do it off the turf. So I'm gonna do a reverse the loop, reverse the loop. And sure enough, you hit a little draw. So hopefully you can see that. You know, you will definitely want to do this slow at first. Reverse the loop. Reverse the loop. So I'm going to go reverse the loop. And that ball definitely starts a little bit right and it gives you the draw. There's no hint of that club swinging to the left. And so now I'm going to reverse it. I'm going to kind of take us back here on the down the line angle. I know there's some... There's a, definitely a bunch of viewers who like the face on as well that you can see both angles. So let's just make sure I'm good here. Yeah, a little far away. Let me adjust that. Sorry. There we go. Okay. Better. So now you'll see the difference here. So most people do the, the opposite. They come this way. So most people come over the top. They're coming over the top. That's the issue. They're not reversing the loop. And so I have a couple videos actually out that I do reversing the loop on, but this is just a really good one, always one that you can work on to do it really for. So I go, so if I go, so now you can see here, here. So now as you go back, you're like, oh, okay. Now I don't have to go forward. Most people go this way, they go in and over. So you can see when I reverse the loop, it's definitely not, it's definitely not in and over. So I'm gonna reverse the loop. And that club is definitely more from the inside. So I'm gonna do it naturally. 
So you can see, not taking big swings, pretty simple swings here, not trying to hit it very far, just trying to do that little motion. So here, reverse the loop. So you can see here, now I'm coming from the inside. Even if I do it super slow-mo, go here. So you can see as I'm not swinging that far out to right field, I'm just working on the arc that we always talk about. We're on that arc on the swing plane. So that's really good. Okay. And here's another uh, version of what I like to work on. Sometimes that's a little more challenging to hit shots because you have to be patient. You have to wait for it. Okay. You have to wait for the club to drop in behind you. Um, but here's the other way. So we talk about the club coming over the top all the time, over the top, over the top. That's how people slice and they swing too far to the left. So now my next one is that if I, if I had a pair, of, if I had a set of keys on my, and I'm like swinging my key ring around like this here. So you can see if I do the same thing back here, you can see is that this club is going backwards behind me. So it's going forwards and backwards forwards and backwards. And you can see for me to do this, for me to do this, it's got to be pretty loose in my hands and the club is going. So now look at where the club ends up. Clubs behind me, boom, from the inside. For people who slice their driver, this is huge to do this. You'll never come over the top. Greg, can I borrow your driver real quick? Thank you, sir. Thank you, thank you. One of my good friends here, let me borrow his driver. So here, so this is the same thing. So here's the driver from the inside. So you can see, same thing. So as I take this club coming in here, coming in from the inside, you can see is that, now here's that, here's the club coming from the inside, club coming from the inside, boom. So now the club can swing into out, but not out to right field. That's the difference. Into out on the arc, make the swing. So that's super, super important. Um, hold on one second. I'm gonna go grab a tea. I'm back. So now here's a tea. Here's a driver. I'm going to do what I told Greg I wouldn't do. I'm going to hit his driver. So we're going to do the same thing. Feel the same motion into out. And we can hit a pretty good ball right there. So Thanks for help from my friend Greg over here. It's a good man. Uh, so this is what you want to do to get rid of the slice because most people, when they hit the driver, they're getting steep, the shaft's getting steep, and you can see where that club head is. It's over the top of my head. But now if I reverse that loop, reverse the sequence of the club, you can see now where this club is coming from, the inside. Much easier to hit draws because your pattern has to be in to out with a draw. You cannot be over the top and hit a draw. Very difficult, if anything. You might hit a pull, you know, a pull hook, but never is that club face gonna be able to come from the inside and hit the ball solid and square and the ball start right. And that's the whole thing with, you know, stack and tilt, with any type of golf swing, you need to have that club coming from on your right forearm. You cannot have the club steep unless you want to hit it off the toe or be very inconsistent. Remember, we're to the side of the ball. Golf clubs are built on an angle. So remember, we always play golf from the side, side on. So we never play in a straight line. Most golfers play in a straight line, straight up and down. Not enough pivot, club, club is traveling on a straight line, you hit off the toe, you hit the turf. So it doesn't matter what club you hit, or what you swing, remember, here's the driver, here's the six iron, still. Both are on the angle, so you can see that. So no matter what club you're hitting, you know, it might change a little bit just because of how your, how your angle is to the ball, because the club's shorter, the club's longer. But I'm gonna do the same thing. I'm gonna feel this kind of reverse the loop. Reverse the loop, and I'm still tilting, I'm still extending, I'm still turning, I'm still bringing this club around, but now, if you're, now you can bring that club right back into impact. And you can hit some good shots. 
So pretty solid, but that's something that if you're really struggling with, your, with slicing the golf ball or hitting the ball in the toe, if you're hitting the ball in the toe of the club, this is an awesome drill for you. Awesome drill. Again, you could just take the club back this way, okay? Remember, we're reversing the loop. Loop's going backwards, back behind us. It's not going over the top. Now remember, this is if you slice. So if you slice, this is your slice busting, slice busting method. That was pretty solid. So hopefully this helps. Thank you so much for watching. Please leave comments. Please hit the uh, subscribe button and uh, and notification button and I love teaching this game. My name is Jess Frank. I've been a PGA teaching professional for over 20 years. Sorry it's a little windy down here in South Florida. We just had a tropical storm pass through but I uh, hope this finds uh, your game and helps you and helps you play better on the course. So thanks again for watching and we'll see you soon.